The State Bar of Georgia is investigating whether Lynn Wood, the pro-Trump attorney who made some of the wildest claims about fraud in the 2020 election, has committed professional violations, according to a disciplinary complaint Wood posted to his Telegram account. Wood posted the complaint, dated February 5, to his account Saturday, asking for donations and saying the Georgia Bar has thrown the kitchen sink at me. The State Disciplinary Board of the State Bar of Georgia has received information concerning the above-named attorney that suggests that said attorney may have violated one or more of the Georgia Rules of Professional Conduct, the complaint states. Wood was one of the most prominent attorneys filing lawsuits across the country alleging voter fraud in the 2020 election was responsible for President Trump's loss. The complaint specifically includes a subsection on these frivolous lawsuits. After the presidential election, Mr. Wood and his co-counsel, Sidney Powell, filed four frivolous lawsuits in swing states, Georgia, Wisconsin, Arizona, and Michigan, where they falsely claimed voter fraud and sought to overturn the election results, it reads. Each of these cases was dismissed as Mr. Wood and his co-counsel could not even state a legally cognizable theory, let alone provide evidence, for their unsupported claims. It further accuses Wood of making false statements, including that there has been no finding by any court that the evidence of election fraud is lacking, noting that Michigan and Arizona courts both ruled he failed to provide such evidence. The complaint also cites Wood's numerous inflammatory comments, including calling then-Vice President Pence a traitor, a communist sympathizer and a child molester, and that Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts conspired to assassinate the late Justice Antonin Scalia. It also references his promotion of conspiracy theories that no one died in the deadly Jan. Six riot at the U.S. Capitol, which he claimed without evidence was carried out by Antifa dressed as Trump people. The State Bar said in late January it was investigating whether Wood was mentally unfit to hold a law license, Forbes reported. Wood was permanently banned from Twitter shortly after the events of January 6th. 